These ball python eggs are on day two of incubation, and today we're going to candle them. When candling, the main thing I'm looking for is the presence of veins inside of the egg. So you can see here that these two have nice strong veins. And this one here, uh-oh, there's no veins in this egg. So this egg is infertile. But let's check the rest of the eggs. This one looks good, this one looks good, and this one looks good. Let's take one more look at that infertile egg, because sometimes they have small veins that are hard to see. I still don't see any veins, so I think this one is infertile, which means there's no baby snake growing inside. It's unfortunate, but I would rather have an infertile egg right from the start than a fertile egg go bad. So we have a total of five fertile eggs and one infertile egg. Now this clutch does have the potential to create some blue-eyed Lucy's, which I know many of you love. So I'll be sure to take good care of these eggs and keep you guys updated. And in about 55, to 60 days we should have some new baby snakes and don't forget to get your copy of my new children's book what's in dr serpentine's lab